How's it going, badass Doom Slayers? My name is Dan, and uh, this is actually a video I've been wanting to make for a while now. And with the recent release of Sigil by John Romero, I figured there's no time like the present than to go ahead and create this tutorial. My goal here is to walk you through the steps of creating some custom shortcuts that will allow you to bypass a few of the steps involved in launching GZ Doom and instead just simply clicking an icon and launching directly into whatever episode of Doom you're interested in playing or all of the episodes of Doom, for example, with the cool program called Wadsmoosh, which I'll get into more later. But just to give you an example of what I'm talking about, here's one I call Doom Classic Complete. Now, as you can see, I didn't double click GZ Doom. I didn't have to select any wad. I didn't have to do anything except click my Doom icon. And now we're sitting here with all of our episodes available, including Sigil. Now you can do the same thing with your mods. In this case, I'm using the Brutal Doom mod. And uh, if you're a fan of the mod, you know how it works. You take it, you drag it, you drop it right on top of GZ Doom, and then you launch into whatever episodes of Doom you want to play. In this case, I have Doom to Hell on Earth highlighted, so instead we'd be playing Brutal Doom to Hell on Earth. Well, instead of going through all that, not like it's a difficult thing to do, but we can create a stylish icon that will allow us to launch right into Brutal Doom with all of our episodes available. And just to quickly show you that they all work, let me load up um, Evolution here real quick. There we go. Now how about uh, Sigil? There we go. Brutal Sigil. I'm not going to sit here and play this right now, although I'd love to, but you get the idea. You can do the same thing with Brutal Doom 64. Uh, Heretic, Hexen, anything that GZ Doom might launch, you can create a shortcut for if you're so inclined. There's tons of icons available out there. You would just create your shortcut, tie the icon to it, and, you know, bam. Now you're launching the game just like if it was uh, 1993 and it was a game sitting on your desktop. But with all the bells and whistles and flavor that comes with GZ Doom. Now I'll get into that fantastic Wad Smoosh program and how to use it a little bit later in the video. But for the sake of the tutorial, let's start off with a simple shortcut that tells GZ Doom just to go ahead and launch Ultimate Doom. So let's start off by making a shortcut to GZ Doom. You're going to right click and tell it to create a shortcut. I'm going to move that shortcut onto my desktop for the tutorial. You can do it however you want. And you're going to find the path to the GZ Doom executable, gzdoom.exe, by right clicking going to properties and finding the target. The target is basically what is going to launch when you click that shortcut. Now, in addition to that, we're going to add the iWAD file doom.wad. I've already got it all typed out here, so I'm just going to copy and paste it. Mm -hmm. Control C, Control V is your friend. So now as you can see here, this looks identical to this. gzdoom.exe, space, iwad, doomwad, same thing right here. So let's apply and OK. And now this shortcut is going to launch Ultimate Doom for us. It gets right into our episodes. So now you can launch Ultimate Doom without having to go through the steps of going opening up the drop down list and selecting it now let's take it a step further well what if we want to open uh brutal doom we want to play through ultimate brutal doom right well you're going to find your brutal doom file and you want to get this exact file name mine is brutal space doom dot bk3 yours may be different depending on which version of the mod you have you're going to take that and you're going to put it in quotations. And the easiest way to explain this is that you want to think of the quotations as the files that you would manually drag and drop. So let's copy that. 
really the quotations are just a way for to help Windows stay organized and and your order matters here so well I actually messed that up a little bit so pay attention to what you're doing <laughs> Now, if you were actually to put this behind the IWAD, it's not going to launch Brutal Doom. It doesn't recognize that Brutal Doom's there. It goes ahead and launches the IWAD, and it doesn't see Brutal Doom. So that's why you want to put Brutal Doom first. So ultimately, it's going to look like this. And as you can see, mine is the same here. So let's apply it and see what happens. Bam, Sergeant Mark IV's Brutal Doom version 21 beta. Good to go. Is there a new version of this out already? I don't know, this one's been awesome. I haven't thought about trying to change it. So, let's quit now that you see that it works. So, now you've got Sigil and you're saying, damn, I wanna play Brutal Sigil. Well, normally you couldn't drag and drop both things on top of GZ Doom, right? You don't need to. You want to use the exact file name and put quotations around it. Remember, quotations basically, mentally, you want to relate those quotations as to being the files that you're dragging and dropping. So, copy that. Go to your properties. Find your path. And I'm going to put sigil in front of Brutal Doom. Make sure there's a space between all of these things. Apply. Okay, it's going to look like this. Sigil, Brutal Doom, Doom I want. So basically, you're just saying load this, load this, and then play this. And here's Sigil. But it's not just normal Sigil. This is Brutal Sigil. Check it out. You know, completely unrelated to this, but I found that uh, Brutal Sigil was actually easier than Normal Sigil because the weapons are so much more powerful. But that's neither here nor there. If you don't want to play Brutal Sigil, you can make the exact same shortcut and just omit the Brutal Doom part of it, okay? It'll work exactly the same and you'll just have Classic Doom with regular Sigil. And last but not least, we just need to set it up with a cool icon and change the name. So let's go ahead and right click, rename. We'll call this Ultimate Brutal Sigil, just so that we know what we're dealing with here. I'm gonna right click, go to Properties. And on the same tab that's got your target, you can go down here and change the icon. I'm gonna find my cool icons from off the internet apply and close and now i've got my custom game i can launch uh, all the episodes of doom one and play with the brutal doom mod by simply left clicking right off my desktop or out of your games folder or you know however you want to set things up now i'm going to go ahead and put some examples of my favorite shortcuts that i use in the description below but hopefully the video has done a good job of actually explaining the process of how you would set up one of these shortcuts so that you can customize things however you want to going forward. Uh, you know, for example, let me ask, would you be able to create uh, a Doom 2 shortcut that launches Brutal Doom 2? Sure, you should be able to. It's pretty simple. All, as a matter of fact, all you would need to do is change the file name here to the Doom 2 WAD. Would you be able to launch Hexen? Absolutely. You just change this to Jackson. change it to Jackson. change it to hexen.wad so that when GZ Doom opens it just launches hexen for you automatically and then you'd be good to go there more or less it's just a matter of doing it a couple times it's not a terribly complicated process and the worst case scenario is is you end up with shortcut that doesn't work or doesn't launch like you want it to and if that happens just delete the damn thing and start from scratch so I've had friends popping on and offline as I'm trying to make this video on Steam and haven't thought about uh, putting myself as appearing offline until just now. That's the 
the genius that I am. <laughs> Hopefully the video doesn't look too janky. I'm going to do my best to edit it. But uh, let's go ahead and talk about Wad Smoosh. And uh, in the description below, you're going to find a link to the developer page for this program. And uh, on that page, you're going to find a download link. And uh, they're going to ask you for a couple bucks. But you do not need to pay it, although I'm always in favor of supporting people who make these kinds of programs if you find them to be useful. Uh, that way we get continued support and continued awesomeness. But uh, after you download it, you're going to want to extract it. And once it's extracted, you're going to see all the files and folders and whatnot. Here is the actual program itself. But the important thing you're looking for is the source wads folder. Go ahead and open that up. When you open yours, it's going to be empty. There may be like a readme text in there or something like that. Um, what you want to do is fill the source wads folder with all of your Doom related wads. So everything that you have available, copy it, put it into this folder. Back out of here. And go ahead and run wad smoosh once you've done that. It's going to tell you, found in Source Wads, Doom Sigil, Doom 2, Attack, TNT, Plutonia, a new PK3 format, IWAD will be generated with the following episodes. So it's detected that I have wads from all of these episodes. Now, if you're missing a wad, it'll tell you that. For example, the master levels. The first time I did this, for some reason, when I copied everything over, I didn't have the map Blood Sea. So it told me, hey... Blood C is missing. So I was like, cool. So I just made sure to copy Blood C into that and I ran the file again. So let's go ahead and run it now. And uh, I had no errors. It'll tell you if you have any sort of errors too. It's going to create a file called doom underscore complete dot pk3. 162 maps. That's pretty sweet. I think the only thing I'm missing myself is that. Uh, expansion for doom 2 that came with uh uh the bfg edition right but i'm not gonna pay more than five bucks for the bfg edition so one, <laughs> one day i'll have that content too but i'm not in a hurry for it anyway let's go ahead and close that out and find the doom complete pk3 go ahead and take that and drop it directly into your gz doom folder now i'm not gonna do that right now because I've already got one in there. So let's go ahead and open that up. And you'll see my copy is right here. Once it's in the GZ Doom folder, GZ Doom will recognize it. Thankfully, that makes life pretty easy, actually. And you'll see it right here in the top. Doom Complete Wad Smoosh. And uh, so sweet. I mean, you might be thinking to yourself, that's all you really need. And it may be. But if you want to create a badass shortcut and have your own you know, Doom Classic Complete or brutal doom complete up here it's gonna look like this you're gonna have your path to gz doom and then you just want to use the iwad doom complete pk3 it works exactly like anything else that we've done so far it's just you're using this file instead and that's it it's really that simple so anyway Thanks a bunch for sticking with me through this tutorial. It's actually the first one I've ever made, but I know how tedious modding can be sometimes, and I hope this gets you on your way to creating your own cool custom shortcuts for Doom. My name is Dan, and if you have any struggles creating your shortcuts, or if there's anything I can help with in regards to this, please let me know in the comments below. And uh, otherwise, get the hell out of here. Create your shortcuts and go slay some demons. Thanks.